episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. We're playing more ship breaker, baby. You he already is determined know. determined to break this ship. Dude, I'm being really cautious here, too. Not to, like... Oh, this is powered, or is it... I don't know. Oh, I took it off. Aw, yeah. dude, just take it away. I don't even know what this thing you is. You. It's a per. It's a purple box, dude. Purple box is going to barge. Yeah. Purple boxes should go in the barge. And blue flowers. All right, where does this go? <laughs> blue flowers. There they go. So these lights. Let's see how much money. So, uh, like, I guess I don't. I think my goal. Is at the the top bar at the top? Okay, but it's re so like is the red parts the parts that you have let get away or? I, yeah, I don't. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Because I see the red bar has filled up too, but maybe that counts those little screws and bolts and all that crap yeah. that get away. Yeah, when I that last piece that I took off uh, that I just threw away that we were working on for like an episode and a half there, that piece I know I did not I did not dissect properly. Oh, like as much as you could have? Yeah, but I didn't know how to break, because you can't break the, the hull of the ship with your cutter tool. You can only break certain pieces. And I know I didn't I know I didn't do that part right. But I don't know I don't know how to do it, so I just did the best I could. Is that just all one piece? You should yeah. This just goes straight to the barge too, baby. Oh, that's a blaster, bro. Heck yeah it is. Alright, just stop, 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 stop. Come up here. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, you're gonna break it. I'm, oh, I'm you trying it. not to. I'm trying not to. There you go. It's it's getting sucked All right, in. There it goes. Into the barge with you. Alright, and I also broke this piece off too. Sweet. Stop. Oh nice. Okay. And this goes into the processor. Get in here. Come on. All right, I'll just push you. So, okay. So, we last last episode, spoiler <laughs> alert, <laughs> we, I love saying that because you hate it. No, that's um, fine. We, I, we were I, talking I, about not, not what would be the break, price point for space, going to space, yada, yada, danger zone, da, 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 da. What is your preferred travel method if when you have to go somewhere? Uh, what is my per walking? <laughs> I guess I like walking. Well, a so lot. if you were gonna go to Ohio from Texas, you'd walk. You'd want to walk. Uh, well, you just said traveling from somewhere. You didn't say long gotcha. distances. Yeah, long distance travel, dude. Because like I know you haven't flown a ton of times. No. And like I know like even the part of the reason you flew at all was because you hated to be in a car that long. <laughs> so oh, dude, I hate cars. <laughs> now let me ask you this. Uber. Let, let me ask you. <laughs> I would like to Uber anywhere I could go. That's my preferred so method, method of travel. You came, you came here to visit once in a car. Uh, and then the next time you chose to fly. And when you moved here, obviously you drove, yes, right? Yes, yes. Was part of the reason you rather would fly because the, the company, it's like having company in the car that you have to entertain or like was driving by yourself like, okay, it sucked, but like you were at least by yourself or... All right, so... Fun little story real quick. I drove, when I moved to the south, because me and Jones, we stay in the south. Uh -huh. When I moved to the south, I drove from New York, um, and we're talking like a northern New York, all the way to like Cape Canaveral, Florida. Is that like in the middle off to the side? It is on the uh, eastern coast of Florida, and it is about halfway down the state. So past the panhandle, all of that stuff. Okay, like, so halfway it, down the actual like peninsula of Florida. Yeah, but okay. not like all the way down. That would have been even more ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what's in the very, very tip, Tampa, I think. Uh, and I'm not sure. Anyways, I don't know. So I don't know neither the geographics. But uh, by the time I got done with this trip to uh to uh to florida from new york and was this by yourself or with a this was by myself okay. and a car and, and they don't even get me started on the fact that i had a car full of stuff because i was moving to florida right right it wasn't just like i was coming to visit florida i was screaming at the top of my lungs <laughs> you know, just my head out the window screaming at the top of my lungs by the end of it i was so just like I felt like I was going insane. Really? I hate. How many hours was it? I hate. It was sixteen hours. Okay. I hate long car trips, and I took a break. 
I took a break, but it was the fact that I had to wake up and do it again the next day that just like it right, killed yeah. me. Dude. So is it would it have been worse or better with someone else in the car with you? And does it depend on the person? I mean, of course, everything. It always depends on the person. Okay, well, uh, someone you actually enjoy spending time with. In the like, if you put if you put Beyonce in a room and told me go ahead and have sex, I'm gonna be like, oh, this is great. But if you put my grandmother in the room, <laughs> like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna so pass. Scary. So, well, I mean, like, but uh, but I also know that you like alone time. So, like, the answer could be no matter who it is, I would have preferred to do it by myself. Yeah, that's that's true. But no, um, I'm gonna have to say. Uh, I don't like long car trips, regardless of who it is. Oh, dude, this thing's explosive. Oh, yeah, it has fire on it. Right, See, now, Here we go. I think that I've driven yeah. from Austin to oh. Minnesota in one day, and that was like 17 hours. Then, then like a week later, I drove from Minnesota to Ohio, and that was like 17 hours. Did it both by myself, both without anything in my car. You didn't mind it? I didn't. 17 was pushing it. Like, it was It was very, like, I, I want to call it, like, the lost highway. Like, where you're just so zoned out on, like, yellow line, dude. You're just like, meh. Um, but, like, I think I could do a solid 13 without having any negative effect. But, like, once you, like, 17 was, like, my limit, dude. Like, because it started out, it was dusk. It started out, got, at the end of the day, it was, like, Pitch black dude, night time. I, yeah, see, and I, I can't take it, dude. I can't. I don't know. It's just something in me won't allow me to ride that long in a car. It like it gave me anxiety just hurt, hearing dude. your story. It did. <laughs> You're it's like, oh my me, god, I feel literally my giving me anxiety. Yeah, like it was. It, but I feel like if I wanted to do that same drive with someone else in the car, I would have hated it. Because I was just, like, listening to music, singing, doing whatever, <sighs> keeping myself entertained. But if I was in a car with someone and, like, they were, like, getting antsy and irritable and, like, oh, being yeah. like, oh, I hate this song. Turn this song off. Why are you singing? Da -da -da -da. You know, I would be like. <laughs> who, are, who are you in the car with, Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I feel like people Adolf? get irritable when they're, in, like, uncomfortable. And yeah. So if yeah. you were in there with the wrong person, they're just, like, uber irritable and, like, whatever. Like, even yeah. if it was, like, your best friend, I feel like your best friend can turn into like a little bee after a while depending oh, on yeah, the dude. circumstance you most know? of my friends are little bees anyway <laughs> this one included <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said even though i i will tell you is that i hate driving and i hate driving uh what do you call that i hate driving uh long distances riding in an airplane is that what they call it flying flying, flying in a plane, in a plane yeah. i guess i don't want to sound like a child but yes. <laughs> like right, taking a boat ride. <laughs> I rode a plane. I rode, <laughs> <laughs> I rode a plane. Rode a plane. Rode yeah, a plane. <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> oh, but man, uh, man, man, man. okay. Anyways, but uh, yeah. So I hated. I hated the plane too. Oh, I hated it tethers it. it and pulls it in. Yeah, I figured. Oh, out that's to, really sweet. Figured out how to use. Say so you hated it. I hated Dude, it. Dude, I hate riding in airplanes. It's just like you're you're captive, dude. You can't move. You're just stuck. Sitting well, and you're like, not a small man. I'm not a small man. So like, it's not made for for people who are bigger than like, waifish young men. Exactly. <laughs> and John, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be a hundred percent real with everybody on the channel, Jonas. I, I don't know if I've said this to, to many people in my life, Jonas, but here it comes. I have thin butt cheeks, Jonas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Laugh it up. I just, just, laugh that was it up. not what I was expecting to come no, out dude, of your laugh, mouth. No, laugh it I up. I have thin butt cheeks. <laughs> laugh, yeah, it's I funny. Mean, I'm sorry. No, dude, it's cool. It's cool. So, um, like, so is that why riding in a car sucks, too? Uh, no, no, because cars usually have, you know, pretty comfortable seats. But airplanes, my good sir, no, there ain't enough cushion for my pushing. Yeah. And well, and then, I, do you have, the, I mean, you're taller than I am. Do you, do you have the problem too where your knees dig into like the metal buckles on the seat in front, like for the armrest, because you have like six inches of flipping you know, leg room? You know, funny enough, Jonas, I don't mind being in like cramped spaces like that so okay. much. It's more, it's it's more like the fact that I can't move. So the uncomfortability of like how small the space is doesn't really bother me, but the not being able to like stand up. It's like my butt cheeks are the first thing to go. Oh, this is like the restriction is what ends up bothering you. Yeah. Gotcha. Dude, like my like I'm I'm serious when I say my butt cheeks are the first thing to go, dude. Like if I'm gonna get uncomfortable, it's gonna be because of my butt cheeks. Like some some movie theaters I can't go to because like my 
my my thin butt cheeks <laughs> just will not allow. Let, oh, so allow you just like it becomes where you're shifting here. back and forth on your ass to like. Yeah, I got you. Like you've gone to the movies with me before, dude. I move around a lot. I, see, you I have didn't to. even notice though. But yeah, I guess maybe yeah, you that were suck. watching me like I was watching you. But that's. <laughs> I'm just, I was you're not just watching like you. I'm like, what happened in the movie? I'm, you're like, I don't know, but you looked entertained. <laughs> You want some more popcorn? Yeah. I saw you eating popcorn. Would you like some more? I see you're almost out. Mm, um, I yes. saw the way you were licking your fingers after you were eating that popcorn. Right. But like, yeah, I guess I mean I guess that would be a thing. Like I get I must I don't know if I just don't have a thin butt or like I, I don't that doesn't bother me. I think me. you've got I think you've got cake actually, good sir. Okay, all right. I'm not we'll gonna see. lie, because that you're I'm gonna tell you right now how I know you got cakes. Why is that? Is that <laughs> is that the uh the the chair that you had for your your desk yeah i can't sit in that chair oh because i got a new chair and i was like hey here's my old chair if you want i can't sit in that <laughs> chair for longer than 30 minutes dude <laughs> say, well also and you sat in that chair for like you, years yeah years <laughs> and you were like oh it's a good chair and i'm like dude i can't sit in that chair for 30 minutes before my butt cheeks well, are like nope but in my defense when i got rid of it it was hurting my back but back is different than butt, dude. Oh, my back I guess is so. fine. Yeah, you're I like, can handle my back, but when there's actual like pain to my glutes, dude, <laughs> there's this like. I know you got cakes because I sat in your office <laughs> chair. <laughs> I love that, dude. That's awesome. But yeah, I feel you though. Yeah, like, and I'm about to get a new office chair, I think, because I'm starting to have back pain again from sitting in it. But I, I sit in it like. 50 plus hours a week, dude. I'm like you, man. Cop yourself a Herman Miller, dude, man. I, I don't. I'm honestly contemplating dropping dropping like five hundo on an office chair. Yeah, I've been. <sighs> I've been considering it myself, dude. Like drop it, like a cheap Herman Miller. When I was looking him up that day, I want a high back because I like being able to put my head back and stuff. Yeah. It's like, but you're looking like seven, eight hundred bucks, dude, for the low end. Yeah, that's very true. And I, I want, I have to be able to sit in it, dude. I can't just buy it willy nilly. Honestly, I don't know why you just don't like the chair you're sitting in now. Why don't you just get one of those and rock that? <laughs> it's funny. I was talking to my friend the other day, and I was like, you know, I might just buy a new chair for the living room and put roller casters on this and roll this bitch that, into my that's, bed. That's <laughs> an option. <laughs> that is an option. Because I just need it to be high enough that I can work at my desk. That's it. Like, and exactly. right now it's a pretty low chair, but. Yeah, dude. That's that's honestly just kick back, put an ottoman under my desk, and just be like. They make under desk. What do you call now? Footstool type things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And honestly, this chair was only like two fifty or three hundred dollars. So like, I could just go to like Couch Potato and buy a brand new ass chair like this and shove it in my bedroom office. Hey, yeah. it's an idea, man. Dude, it's an it, idea. Because, like, yeah, spending that much on a Herman Miller would be nice and all. I'm sure it would feel great, dude. Oh, yeah. Herman Millers are pretty good, man. I've sat in them at, like, Office Max and stuff, and they're great. And see, that's what I need to do. I need to go to I need to go to Office Max and, like, actually sit in them and be like, is this worth? But you're investing in, like, your back. And it's like an old man. <laughs> <laughs> your back is the as first an, thing to go. As an old man. But you know what I mean? Like, as your body's getting older, you got to take care and make sure you aren't hurting it. <laughs> you know, like, it, as not a spring chicken, you can easily, like, throw your back out or something like that, or the back pain becomes a lot worse. You tell me you're not a spring chicken, Johnny? I, I feel like a spring chicken most of the time. Oh, yeah. I've been real tired lately, but other than that, I think I just had, like, a, a feel, allergies or something. COVID. COVID. Maybe I just have got the vaccinated version of COVID. <laughs> um, you know, that's what they're doing out there. They're like, oh, I got the vaccine version for the vaccinated. I'm sorry. You know, and I hate it when people make COVID jokes, so I'm I'm going to retract that one. <laughs> <laughs> I do, because I'm just like, it's tacky. Okay. All right. Yeah, dude. I don't know what you but, mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that one didn't happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to Office Max and putting Herman Miller. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like I'm old. <laughs> I've been under the weather. <laughs> not feeling like I think it's allergies. Definitely not COVID. <laughs> Definitely not that. <laughs> Definitely not COVID. Um, but yeah, dude, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like you got to take care of yourself as you get older. Like, I've been thinking about getting a new bed, too, just because I'm like, my bed isn't bad, but it's old. It's like 10 years old, dude. It's still comfortable, but I'm like, does it only feel comfortable because it's the bed I know? Like, if I went to the mattress store and laid on a brand new bed, would I be like, Oh my God! I need this, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm sorry, Jones. I, oh, okay. I got, I got scared <laughs> it's fine. there. 
you never know what you don't have till you try it, you know? That's very true. That's very true. Because, like, uh, you know, I can tell that, that bed isn't in the best of shape because I've had it for so long. I can tell that, like, you know, it's, you know, like, beds just, oh, like, I think you have a memory foam that's a little less than mine, but regular mattresses, they, over time, they, like, things will happen, the springs will kind of mess up a little bit, but they're still comfortable. Dude, I'm telling you right now, you should definitely get you a memory foam mattress. I've never been in your bed, thank God. <laughs> Thank God and d double it. I'm telling you right now is that I have a memory foam mattress and it seriously it changed my life. Yeah, dude. But, like, like I haven't had back pain since I've gotten that bed. Yeah, I I've I need like a really soft bed, but like I feel like memory foam is soft, but like it hits a compression point where it becomes firm. And I need to, I would need to try it out. Because I need to know, because if it gets too hard, then it, like, makes, like, my back, because I sleep on my side a lot, so it, like, it'll, like, make my hip hurt and stuff if you're, like, it becomes too, you know what I mean? When it compresses down, you got a big old fat one, though. They that, like, make them, like, different firmnesses, though, so you can, you can do whatever you need, you know? Yeah, well, as thick as your mattress is, like, it's, pr has, is it pretty firm or is it soft? Like, do you, like, sink into it, like, ah, or is it, like... I, I mean, when I was getting my bed, I made sure that, uh, I tested out a bunch, so it's, it's got some firmness, but it's also got adequate enough soft. It's kind of, like, in between, it's like a sleep number. Okay. So, nice. it's like, you can, it's just, you can, you can do whatever you need to, to fit your needs, you know? You yeah. Can, you can I, get you whatever know, you need. That's a good point. And like, honestly, the, the, those are like three things I was like, if I was going to upgrade something in my life, like, like my car is kind of, is older and it's paid off and stuff now. Like, but I don't really want a car payment. Like if I was, it would be like my office chair, my, my sitting chair in the living room and my bed would be like the next three things I would probably upgrade even before I upgraded my TV. And I got an old, like 40 inch TV. Yeah, but that, you know, come on. It works fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, the, all what, the other three things are comfort is. things, you know? Yeah, I, I, getting a good bed is super important, man. I definitely believe in that. Super important. Mm -hmm. That The bed I have in there, that was the first bed that I ever purchased as an adult. And it was like, I don't know, it was like 800 bucks or 900 bucks or something at the, t at the time. You know, I'm sure they're cheaper or more or what i don't know you said but you also have a king size mat but uh when i got that you have a king size to change from the bed i was in to that bed yeah was life-changing like the first night i got in that oh, beat at home yeah. i was like yeah, 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 best yeah, yeah. 800 dollars i've ever spent yeah. in my life <laughs> yeah the first day in a new bed is a great day man. yeah There's dude no like, denying that i was like wow and like, and it's funny because these things, like the living room chair, the office chair, my bed, I spend hours in all of those places. Facts. You know, like consistent hours, not just like ten minutes here, ten minutes there. So why am I? Go why would you ever go cheap on those things? Exactly. Shoes. Why would you go cheap on shoes? I mean, yeah, get you some J's. <laughs> that doesn't mean they're comfortable. <laughs> I'm not talking about how they look. People swear by comfortable though. <laughs> Yeah, Get like some Yeezys then. Yeezys are supposed to be really comfortable. Well, those are like nine hundred dollars, aren't they? Yeah, well, hey, you said why skimp, dude? So why are we skimping? <laughs> you can have gold-plated shoes and now we're skimping. Now we're skimping. We're skimping all of a sudden. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so I don't know, dude. I just feel like uh, you know, there'll be some good things to do stuff on. All right. Well, you know what, Jonas? I think on the next episode, dude. I think we might actually finish up, dude. We, I still got to take. The, you you know what happened last time I came back over here. To take off, yeah, for the yeah. spoiler alert. So probably on next episode, we're going to get into... See, uh, but you're going at it the right way. That should be the last thing you take off. Yeah. You probably have to disconnect the gas can and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah, anyways, yeah. that is all the, the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, hit that notification bell. It goes ding when we do a video for Jonah. For TNT. We are out.